Hosea chapter 4, the Lord's case against Israel, meaning the Lord's case against the people of the earth. Israel means the people of earth, everybody. Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel, O people of Israel, O people of the earth. The Lord has brought charges against you, saying, There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of God in your land. You make vows and break them. You kill and steal and commit adultery. There is violence everywhere, one murder after another. That is why your land is in mourning, and everyone in, is wasting away. Even the wild animals, the birds of the sky, and the fish of the sea are disappearing. Don't point your finger at someone else and try to pass the blame. My complaint, you priests, is with you. So you will stumble in broad daylight, and your false prophets will fall with you in the night. I am the only prophet of this earth right now until the return of our Jesus Christ. Anybody else that says so on this planet is wrong. And I will destroy Israel, your mother. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since, you're, since you priests refuse to know me, I refuse to recognize you as my priest. Since you have forgotten the laws of your God, I will forget to bless your children. The more priests there are, the more they sin against me. They have exchanged the glory of God for the shame of idols. When the people bring their sin offerings, the priests get fed. So the priests are glad when the people sin. And what the priests do, the people also do. So now I will punish both priests and people for their wicked deeds. They will eat and still be hungry. They will play the prostitute and gain nothing for it. For they have deserted the Lord to worship other gods. Wine has robbed my people of their understanding. They ask a piece of wood for advice. They think a stick can tell them the future. Longing after idols has made them foolish. Okay, say loud. We're going to stop there for a second. Okay. This is a charge against the people that aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing for the church. and for, uh, we, got, we got plenty of people that are trying to build us up and build us together. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. We need to settle the differences between the churches. And it doesn't matter what denomination. It doesn't matter if you're a, a Catholic or a Jew or a Christian. I don't, I don't care anymore about that. Okay. The fact of the matter is, it's the laws of Moses still stand. And here's another thing. Yes, yes, to the people who believe in Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad was a prophet. But here's the wrong thing about that. Jesus is the Son of God. Okay, and he is also a prophet. Okay, Enoch was a prophet. Prophets are sent by God. They are not, they are chosen by God. They do not ask to do it. It says the Bible chooses that God chooses them to be the messenger of God's messages to the people during during great events that are going to happen on the earth. Okay. There's a lot more I can explain to that. But this scripture right here is for the people that aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing in the churches and for the earth, for the people of the earth. And, okay, that brings me to the parable of the fishermen. The fishermen... I, I, I didn't explain this the other day. Okay, the fisherman is the priest and the people in the church. Okay, they're supposed to be going out, uh, or the Jews, or anything like that. Anybody that knows the knowledge of this book knows what I'm talking about. And knows that this is happening if they've read this book fully. Okay, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be acting as the fishermen. And going out, and, and the earth is the sea. And this is a new parable that I was taught to teach. This, the only part that this is written in is in the apostles. And Jesus never finished teaching it. Okay? I have been taught this. Now, the earth is the sea and the fish are the people. The fishermen are the priests and the people amongst the church that are supposed to be going out and fishing for the people. Okay? We're supposed to be bringing them in and uniting the world. All the colonies, all the faiths, all the religions, into one before the return of Christ. This is what we are supposed to do, and this is what is telling me that I was sent to do. 
and this is what it's teach. That's one of the first things it taught me is that I. It says that I will be the one to unite the world before the return of Christ. Oh. Why news rob my people of their understanding? Hold on, let's back up. And what the priests do, the people also do. So now I will punish both priests and people for their wicked deeds. They will eat and still be hungry. They will play the prostitute and gain nothing from it. For they have deserted the Lord to worship other gods. Wine has robbed my people of their understanding. They ask a piece of wood for advice. They think a stick can tell them the future. Longing after idols has made them foolish. They have played the prostitute, serving other gods and deserting their god. They offer sacrifices to idols on the mountaintops. They go up into the hills to burn incense. In the pleasant shade of oaks, poplars, and terebinth trees, that is why your daughters turn to prostitution, and your daughter, daughters-in-law commit adultery. But why should I punish them for their prostitution and adultery? For your men are doing the same thing, sinning with whores and shrine prostitutes. O oh, foolish people, you refuse to understand, so you will be destroyed. Though you, though you, Israel, are a prostitute, may Judah not be guilty of such things. Do not join the false worship at Gilgal or beth Aven, and do not take oaths there in the Lord's name. Israel is stubborn like a stubborn heifer. She should, she should, so should the Lord feed her like a lamb in a lush pasture. Leave Israel alone, because she is married to idolatry. When the rulers of Israel finish their drinking, off they go to find some prostitutes. They love shame more than honor. So I might wind up, I might wind, 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 so a mighty wind will sweep them away. Their sacrifices to idols will bring them shame. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It says if we're not building, if, if, they're working for the church. That means they're not working against us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.